want you to know what our goal is. And it's just to bring information uh, that has either been hard to get or hasn't been provided at all. And uh, so that's our goal. And our, our real bottom line goal is exactly the same as the Muni School. And that is the smartest and best way to reduce Boulder's carbon footprint. So this presentation was presented to City Council last month, along with a petition requesting a release of detailed cash flow analysis. More about that later. To start, just for perspective, here's a pie diagram with the Excel Colorado energy footprint. Note that at best, Boulder would contribute about 1.02% to 1.6% renewables to this footprint. Let's see what Excel has already accomplished. Excel has already, today, reduced carbon with renewables well over 10 times more than Boulder can hope to achieve in a best case scenario. Here's a quick look at the Muni effort over time, past, present, and future, and where responsibility rests. Let's start with the past, the vote. The 2011 vote on the funding for the Muni exploration was very close. Look at the bar graph. And note that to reverse the percentages, and this was out of 26,000, almost 500 votes, only 212 votes would have to change, and to actually change the outcome, only 105 votes are needed. And that's out of 26,000 plus. The next vote to continue this funding should occur this year or next year. Otherwise, the Muni will be drawing money from the general fund that should never be used as a blank check. Let's look at the present. Too much time, three and a half years. Too much money, 14 million. Too little transparency, too little potential outcome. Once again, note the tiny contribution that Boulder can achieve in a best case scenario. The future, wouldn't it be nice if there were faster, cheaper, and better, and smarter alternatives? Here are two suggestions that are faster, cheaper, better, and smarter than municipalization. Wind source. This worked as well yesterday as it works today. And we could buy RECs, which are renewable energy certificates, the perfect alternative for a paper power company. On the left is the spreadsheet used to make these calculations. So you can just ask and I'll send it to you. It has been checked by multiple people. The bottom line is the column on the right. We now know that Boulder will have a 30% rate increase in a best case scenario while providing about 50% renewables. With wind source for 100% of Boulder to have carbon free electricity would increase rates about 24%. Using wind source, Boulder could get twice the value at less cost. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Once again, note the numbers on the right. By purchasing renewable energy certificates today, Boulder could achieve 100% carbon-free electricity at a rate increase of 1.2 to 1.5%. Sounds unbelievable, but just check the numbers. Let's round that 1.2% up to 2% to help you overcome the shock. So 100% carbon-free electricity for a 2% rate increase versus 50% carbon-free electricity for a 30% rate increase. Oh, by the way, Rex are, you know, I've got them figured out now, but if you want to, see that little Spot right there, I can click that. It'll take us to the web and we can have a nice little two and a half minute video on what RECs are. And I'll be happy to do that. But first, responsibility. So if all this is true, how can we change direction? Who is responsible for deciding the off ramp? Is Boulder Energy Future responsible? No. City Council are the ones who, who decide. City Council are the ones who are responsible. So remember, there are faster, cheaper, and better, and smarter alternatives. And keep in mind that there should be a vote coming up. 
and that we presented, and we have a growing petition of over 400 <coughs> Boulder city residents, as well as hundreds from outside Boulder, that think that the time has come for Boulder City Council to provide a detailed financial update on the status of the possible outcomes of the municipalization effort. Superficial statements of a sound or robust financial status are no longer adequate. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Since Excel is already about 20% carbon free, the wind source and rec costs would actually be less because we'd only have to provide that remaining part of the footprint. But wait, there's more. Boulder could provide solar incentives, especially at optimal locations, and perhaps in the future, directly buy recs from residents and businesses. That's not possible now, but laws can be changed and that could be done. So, I'm hoping that you will join with us and ask City Council to provide the facts that will allow us to critically review the critical and modeled, <coughs> the current and modeled future financial status of municipalization. And be sure to do it without the gun barrel customers and Excel's assets in the separation area. Prove that municipalization is still a viable option that is better than wind source or Rex. And there's uh, all you've got to do to get to that petition is just go to Google, type in Muni Money Facts, and it'll take you to that petition. So that's the end of the presentation.